Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaclet Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to do the mega analysis for the UGC NET 2023 Environmental Science paper which was conducted on 13th of March. So this examination is actually the December 2022 cycle which was conducted in the month of February and March 2023 and for the environmental science paper how the question was what was the difficulty level and how the students are reacting to the review for this examination and most importantly we will discuss the questions which we are getting from the memory based questions from you people so first of all i would like to thank each one of you for sharing all the questions so without wasting much time let's start today's video so in the starting of this video i would like to say that many of you almost all of you are having the curiosity to know whether you have done the correct answer or not in the examination which you appear so these questions are overall what were the questions asked from so i'll tell you one by one Mohs hardness scale which was very very important i have repeatedly said in the revision the question was from Mohs hardness scale and all the questions will be dealing in the more discussion manner so first we should know what were the questions from image interpretation and remote sensing article 51a which landfill is covered by dirt on daily basis sympatric allopatric parapatric all the speciation type matchup from the evolution percentage of salt in sea water this was the question which was asked but i don't know what was the unit given so if it is in ppm it will be 35000 parts per million or if it is in percentage it will be 3.5 percentage or we can say what is that 3.5 by 100 so 3.5 by 100 means 20 we will take here so 0 0.035 will be the answer so it can be any of this it will depend upon the which unit it has asked next was naaq national ambient air quality standards criteria air pollutant the question was there national mission on sustainable himalayan ecosystem that is the eight goals and here under the napcc next is garbage rubbish trash plastic management rule came in which year bowen's reaction series which technique used for elemental analysis objectives of environmental protection act of 1986 thermal pollution marrakesh accords related to which protocol which oxides of nitrogen is a greenhouse gas so here it will be what n2o we'll discuss in the coming slides also so here red tides question was there grazing food chain one question was there and few more hint i will give you and you will be able to recollect what was the question because i haven't appeared you have appeared Numerical on geostropic wind was there, water reservoir and river Gandhi Sagar, which state has more than 30 sanctuaries, proposed site for cheetah project establishment in Rajasthan, indoor air pollutant, what out of the following effect the troposphere, longitude, latitude, temperature, vegetation and season or it is temperate vegetation, numerical on hardness of calcium carbonate, thermal degradation in absence of air is known as what? Humic acid, fulvic acid, very frequently asked, which is more soluble. Main gases released by the magma from volcano and LQ of noise, L equivalent it will be frontier environmental ethics. Basal convention was question was there. First law of thermodynamics, photochemical smog, and we have to arrange the soil profile O A E B C. EIA steps was asked, and which project requires EIA in EPA 1986? River Valley will be the answer as per this student. So now we will discuss one by one. I am leaving this review thing. Now we will discuss the question and we will know which will be the correct answer for this question. So these questions are taken from the memory based. It, so here soil horizon arranging in the correct sequence. So topmost horizon will be, so it is also important for the revision part if you are going for the next exam, any other exam. O is the topmost layer that is O horizon, humus or organic layer, A is the topsoil, E elevated horizon, B subsoil, C parent material, R is the bedrock. So sequence will be O, A, E, B, C, R. So which will be in the correct option you have to select like this sequence will be O, A, E, B, C, R. And next the question was first law of thermodynamics, it is based on what? It is based on 
conservation of energy some students are confused and they have hit this conservation of mass is it is incorrect because it is telling that the energy is neither created nor destroyed it is transformed from one form to another that is conservation of energy first law of thermodynamics coming to the next questions which were asked these things are important for the further exam you should note down arrange the electromagnetic radiation in increasing order of the wavelength so increasing order of wavelength and decreasing order it is bit confusing for some of you so x-ray will be having the least wavelength as per these five electromagnetic radiation these four followed by ultraviolet then visible light then thermal infrared but if it is asked frequency wise x-ray will be having the maximum frequency followed by uv visible and thermal but it is asked wavelength so least will be x-ray followed by uv rays visible rays and then thermal infrared next question ascending order we have to arrange for the grade in metamorphism the options were gneiss slate schist and shale and the ascending order will be shale then it will be slate then schist and then gneiss so you should think whether you have selected the correct option or not this will be the correct sequence next this question was asked or not it is a confusion but we will know because it is also one of the frequent asked question biogas produced by anaerobic bacterial activity is a mixture of what it is a mixture of methane carbon dioxide ammonia hydrogen sulfide and water so this is also one of the very frequent asked questions you should know this thing coming to the next slide yes this was bit confusing i don't know what was the question asked exactly but you students have told that cheetah introduction from africa into which one of the following wildlife centuries of rajasthan so particularly it has given rajasthan but we all know first is kuno national park in madhya pradesh where the cheetah were reintroduced and this thing if it is asking rajasthan then it will be if it is one we have to select one then it will be mukundara tiger reserve which was selected after the final scrutinization from the wildlife institute of india and other forest official but if it is asking more than one then shergard will also come under that which is also in rajasthan so many of the sites were proposed but finally kuno national park was selected for the first cheetah reintroduction and then mukundara tiger reserve which is still in a controversial state because they want tiger to be kept there and preserved there the rajasthan the ministry but mukundara tiger reserve is also a place for the cheetah reintroduction after kuno national park next is which coal has the highest carbon content this series was asked or directly it was asked so anthracite will be having the highest carbon content if it is in the series it will be also the maximum followed by the other coal types so such as bituminous subbituminous and lignite so maximum will be anthracite which is a good grade coal with highest carbon content next question was plastic management notification release year so if it was plastic waste management rule it will be 2016 if it was plastic waste management amendment rules then it will be 2022 so you should be careful if it is only plastic waste management rule then it will be 2016 next coming to the next slide next slide which of the following compound of nitrogen is the greenhouse gas which we discussed in the first slide also so here options were there n2o no3 and nitrogen gas so correct option will be n2o that is nitrous oxide so it is also known as laughing gas you should note down it is the important greenhouse gas after methane and carbon dioxide important means not good for humans but it is one of the major greenhouse gas and it is also human related threat to ozone layer so this is released mostly by we people we humans and it is also ozone depleting substance next was which state contains more than 30 wildlife sanctuary if it is only state particularly it will be maharashtra which is having 50 number of wildlife sanctuary if it is andaman and nicobar which is not mentioned state or union territory then it will be andaman and nicobar which is having 96 number of wildlife sanctuary next question was from tarun bharat sangh which is a ngo non profitable environmental ngo with its headquarter in rajasthan and its founder is whom its founder is rajendra singh tarun bharat sang founder is rajendra singh let's move to some of the other questions 
how many goals in NAPCC which is very very frequent last question 8 goals next was algal bloom caused by eutrophication along seaside is called so it is called as the red tide the algal bloom caused by eutrophication along seaside it is called as the red tide and you have to comment me in the comment section which algae are responsible for causing this red tide next question very frequently asked repeatedly asked in the UGCNET environmental science exam which we already discussed in our revision indoor air pollutant some question was there and radon is the indoor air pollutant next question was arrange the sequence of the decomposing land filling what will be the phase of the land filling decomposition so here acid phase aerobic phase unsteady methanogenesis and steady methanogenesis so here first step will be aerobic phase then followed by the acid phase then unsteady methanogenesis then steady methanogenesis so i will erase this thing so what will be the sequence the sequence will be 2 1 3 4 aerobic acid phase unsteady then steady let's move on to the next slide to know more questions which came in the exam next question which came was plant absorb nitrogen in the form of what in the form of nitrates or nitrites or ammonium ions or nitrogen so here it is from the nitrogen cycle which i have repeatedly said very very important it will be in the nitrates form that means no3 minus form the plant absorb the nitrogen next is from the cap that is criteria air pollutants so the question was from criteria air pollutant which will be the criteria air pollutant you should match or it should be which is not the criteria air pollutant so we should know what are the criteria air pollutants they are six in number they are carbon monoxide lead nitrogen dioxide ozone particulate matter and sulfur dioxide so particulate matter both 2.5 and 10 so both are under the criteria air pollutants and we should know what was asked in the question but one question was there from criteria air pollutant and mostly it was carbon monoxide which was in the option so it will be the correct option next question was from the Carl Pearson's formula which is to calculate the mode and the formula will be correct formula will be 3 median minus 2 mean will give the mode according to the Carl Pearson's formula and now we will know some of the important and major reviews coming from the candidates those who have appeared the exam so as per the maximum candidates they were telling that some questions were tricky, tricky yes it is obvious some questions will be tricky but few are direct so direct means they were asking direct question also and maximum questions were from geoscience reading comprehension and data interpretations were easy questions was based on the concept of the mock test which we have attempted so exactly mock test those have attempted they came to know the concept from there which already came in the exam which helped them and 25 previous years questions were repeated almost on an average and same for the paper one easy questions were there and assertion and reasoning were very less but statement type that means statement one and statement two questions prevailed in paper two it was comparatively easier than the previous september 2022 question so these candidates are telling it was easy comparatively to the september 2022 question these are taken from different candidates and many of you were confused finding dinosaur yes dinosaur means in the reading comprehension for the paper 2 there was a question asked for the dinosaur how many million years ago they extinct so dinosaur went extinct about 65 million years ago it was not given in the passage but it is based on your knowledge and at the end of the cretaceous period you should note that they were extinct after living on earth about 165 million years so 65 million years ago they got extinct but they stayed on our planet for how many years they stayed for 165 million years and they were extinct at the end of the cretaceous period so now i would like to show you the poll which was conducted in our telegram page so you can see here around 497 that is 500 students gave their opinion and 48 percent are telling that both the papers were moderate level so at the end i would like to say that paper was from moderate to easy level we can say it was not difficult and we have to wait for the results and pray for our good results so till then 
टेक केयर कीप स्माइलिंग एंड यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल जैक लीड फॉर फर्दर अपडेट्स एंड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट टू एवरी वन सी यू गाइज नेक्स्ट वीडियो